Breaking news. Resign with immediate effect. Blood flowing in Nigeria. Gamu slams President Muhammadu Buhari. Hello, my wonderful people. Naso the matter they reach you. Mm. Gam, you don't slam President Muhammadu Buhari. Say, you know what in it? You are a blood-sucking human being, okay? So please, then, resign with immediate effect. Please, stop giving us that uh, cook and boss story that, uh, you know, you are fighting. People are dying. I'm, su I'm surprised you're the one speaking in this light. You're the one who said they should allow the people who are committing this crime to go scot free That they are full of any headsmen who have found cheap way of making money. You know, they've not been caught, they've not been, you know, dealt with, they've been allowed to do whatever they want to do, and you have been in support, you see. So, it's saying to Buhari, resign, because um, you are not the person who's supposed to be the president. If you are, you would have done your duty. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Resign with immediate effect. Blood flowing in Nigeria. Gamu slams Buhari. The Islamic scholar made this revelation as he addressed the Muslims gathering. Islamic scholar Gamu has asked President Muhammad Buhari to resign over his inability to secure the country from criminals, which make the blood of innocent lives to flow in the country. Gamu added, that the same advice he gave the then president good luck jonathan would be given to his own brother who appears to be less democratic even that good luck jonathan jonathan was even better jonathan did better than buhari is doing the north thought buhari would have ended this evil set of people by now apparently jonathan was better the islamic scholar made this revelation as he addressed Muslim gathering as seen in the video by Sahar reporters on Tuesday. Gamu said during the Jonathan era when blood was flowing, I criticized him greatly because he was doing he was doing something but not enough. Why I blamed Jonathan with blood in his hands was because Boko Haram were putting bombs everywhere and the government was not doing anything particular to solve the situation because they kill under the regime. You are responsible for what ma matter. If you have done your best, I can say that God can forgive you. But if you are relaxed, no, God cannot forgive you. So it's the same thing now to this blood soccer. It's even more, there's even more bloodshed than there was during Jonathan's regime. So now you judge yourself to be fair. Our religion is a religion of fairness. We are fair to ourselves. During Jonathan, when blood was flowing in church, mosque, and streets, I said to him, resign, because he could not control it. He could not handle it. I said, resign with immediate effect. When people were dying everywhere, the president and governors are attending wedding ceremonies. That's what I meant by, I don't care. It is either if I am telling to, I'm talking to myself, telling you the truth, as I asked for the resignation of Jonathan, I also am calling for the resignation of President Muhammad Buhari with immediate effect. And the government's paperwork immediately should, be con should continue and the proceedings should start from the, House of from the House of Representatives to the Senate. Get this man out of the way. Even Jonathan, as bad as his time was, he was more democratic than this one we are experiencing. I thought my brother would be better. He's worse. Jonathan was even better. If I ask Jonathan to resign, and I don't ask this one to resign in the face that is happening, God will not forgive me. Now, let us tell ourselves the truth. Is Jonathan's time not better than Buhari's time? So why should I not say Buhari should resign? So that's Gamu's question to you, to you, to you. He said, why should he not say that Gamu should resign? Because if Jonathan's time was much better, then why will, I mean, and he, even then, he was still saying to Buhari that you have not done enough. Uh, to good luck, Jonathan, you have not done enough. And good luck, Jonathan, then has already engaged the service of machineries. Okay, he has already engaged those who will assist has already engaged the service of machinery saying, come and help us, come and assist us. But today, what are we experiencing? What are we having? Well, today, what are we experiencing? This is a clear case, clear cut that as a country, we are stuck. We are stuck with a set of people who have no clue what is going on. 
So are we going to sit back, fold our arms and pretend that all is well? My brothers, my sisters, all is not well. The country is going in Dambori and things are happening. We cannot allow people to continue to suffer because there is one man called, who calls himself President Muhammad Buhari and doing nothing to protect and, you know, to help the people. People are dying every day. Do you know that even lepers are being, are being, are being uh, adopted? I was shocked when I heard it. Shehu Sani said he went to his village, you know, and, you know, because we are the lepers, uh, those ones that, you know, asked for arms. They were, they were telling him that some of them, three of them, we adopted just, you know, the week before. And that they're still in, 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 in the custody of those who adopted. And he was like, what? What? So are you expensive someone to come and give you money to, 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 to free those people? Mm -hmm. So this is what mm -hmm. it is. This is the serious state of dilemma that we are in. And some people will tell us that, uh, oh, Buhari is doing well. The likes of Gary Rashewa and the evil genius of all of them is doing well. He's trying his best. And it's even sad to know that some Southerners, you know, because of money, position and influence and affluence will not say the truth. They will rather pretend that all is well. When you and I know that all is not well, that there is fire on the mountain. And when we are small, we used to sing that song. You know, people, the children will, will gather in a circle and one person will be picked on to say, okay, you start it. And they will, uh, they will, they will clap our hands and the person will, will sing, there is fire on the mountain, run, run, run. So the person drops the, 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 hand, the handler or something behind you and he will run. And if you do not get it before the time, you are the one to go into the circle. So wh why are we deceiving ourselves that uh, Buhari is doing something for us? When really, his health, he looks after himself. He's a very selfish individual, if you, in case you're not aware. Yeah, truly selfish, very selfish. Okay, very selfish. He's looking after himself. His family, they are, they are abroad. The wife has not been in the country for over a year. She only came, it was in January or February, when her husband was also out on medical trip quickly came launch her book and ran out before he came because she can't stand him so when you look at it you understand that there is really fire on the mountain those songs we used to sing as children run 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 a big big one run 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 that's the that's the next phase that's the next line of action that's just the next line of action so when you look at it it is what it is you see it is what it is we have to all stand up together with one voice and with the House of Representatives and the Senate join us and agree that this man should go because they are benefiting from this administration, in case you are not aware. Oh, they are benefiting in no small way, making money and living life. This is the best time of their life. This is the, the best time ever. So why will you tell them not to remove that person? Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Bye for now.